Welcome to Education Lifeline. This is T. Bro Paul, and today we'll be introducing exponential functions. You've already studied linear and quadratic functions, but there's another type of function called an exponential function. Remember that an exponent is shorthand for expressed repeated multiplication. You know that the variable in a linear function has an exponent of 1, and the variable in a quadratic exp um, function has an exponent of 2, as in these two equations. However, when the variable by itself is the exponent, we see an exponential function. We model exponential functions using the equation f of x is equal to a times b to the x, where a is the initial value or y-intercept and b is the common ratio. This common ratio is the number that the rate of change is increasing by. The graphs of exponential functions demonstrate an asymptote, which is the line that they, they will always approach but never actually reach. This will be discussed in another video. The domain of an exponential function will always be all real numbers. The range, however, will be based on the asymptote. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our next video on evaluating exponential functions and check the description for other helpful resources. We include more tips as well as practice problems in the description of every video. Please make sure to leave any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.